The Nobel Prize in Physics uh, 2020 is about black holes. And it's a shared prize uh, between uh, Roger Penrose, who showed that the formation of black hole in the framework of general relativity, as formulated by Einstein, is an inevitable uh, outcome if you compress matter enough. Uh, and the other half of the prize goes to Reinhard Gensel and Andrea Guess, who experimentally have shown by tracking the orbits of stars near the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, they have shown that there is a very massive object there whose density is so immense that it can only, according to our current understanding of how the universe works, it must be a black hole. A black hole is a, an object where the gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. And it's sometimes said to be a uh, a region of space-time that has curved back on itself. So there is a way into the black hole, but there is no way out of the black hole. In 1915, Einstein uh, presented his general theory of relativity, which was a new theory of gravitation. And it could explain things which the classical Newtonian theory of gravitation could not. For instance, the precession of the of the, of, of the planet Mercury around the Sun. Um, and Roger Penrose used this complicated mathematical theory to predict the existence of black holes. He was not the first one to predict the existence of black holes, but he was the first one to show rigorously that this is an inevitable outcome if you compress matter enough. 